Good evening, Church on the Go. Hope you are blessed in the Lord. Amen. Amen. I am uh, pleased to be with you tonight, Pastor Steve and I. I'm Pastor Curtis, and then Pastor Steve is with us, and we're going to be worshiping the Lord. Amen. And giving Him all the glory. Don't you think God deserves all the glory tonight? Amen. I mean, He deserves the glory every day and every night. Hallelujah. Amen. We could never possibly worship Him too much. Amen. There's no such thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, so we're worshiping the Lord. We're gathering virtually over the internet on a Facebook live stream. And we are going to upload this after on YouTube as well. So our YouTube playlist will also be updated, which you can easily access that at churchonthego.ca and see all of our uh, past live streams and stay up to date, praise God. Plus, if that's not enough for you, we have another 70, 80 plus uh, videos of Roundtable Bible teaching. Hours and hours worth of stuff. If you need more Bible content, we got it on YouTube. So uh, please watch if you want to know any, see any of these lyrics or graphics uh, up close on your screen. Please, uh, you can do a split screen on your phone or on your tablet or on your computer and look at the Google link that's in the description. It'll be in the description for Facebook and it'll also be in the description for YouTube. So, um, it's a, it's a Google Drive link which has free access to anyone who has the link. So, uh, we want to bless you in the name of the Lord. Father, Amen. we just thank you that you are Lord. God of all. Thank you that you are the King of kings and the Lord of yes, Lords. Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you are sovereign. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, that you are healer. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you are in control. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that there is nothing outside of your will. There's nothing outside of your plan Lord. here. Lord, you've allowed those things which seem out of control mm -hmm. so that we might press into you, yes, so that Lord. we might call on you, that we might look to the city, mm -hmm. that we might look to the heavenly city, yes, which is a present reality. Yes, Lord. The city is coming, yes, but it's also here. Amen. The city is already in heaven. The city is already mm -hmm. adorned as a bride for Amen. her husband, the Lamb. And we are blessing you tonight, Jesus. The, the, the bride says you're beautiful. We, your people, say you're beautiful. You are altogether lovely. Yes, Lord. Father, we, uh, as your body, we, we exalt the head of the body, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we thank you mm -hmm. that, Lord, on the earth, the feet of those that preach good news are beautiful. Amen. And we bless your holy name. Because the feet are part of the body. Yes, so, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have your way tonight. Lord, just anoint us, uh, lead us, direct us. Yes, uh, Lord. Lord, and bless those that are watching. And they're commenting. If you're, com you're here, if they're here, they can say hi to one another. They yes, can bless Lord. one another virtually. Amen. And, Lord, uh, also, Lord, open up the, the, this, this, this province again. Open up the country again mm -hmm. so that we may meet physically again yes, in Jesus' Lord. name and to give some relief to the churches. Yes, so we Lord. thank you, Lord, and to the businesses as well. So we bless you, and we worship you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're going to give the Lord all the glory tonight. We want to think up, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of looking laterally all the time, looking side to side, yeah. we need to think up to the heavenly yes. city, up the tower to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, we need to change our thinking. The Bible should be changing my thinking Amen. and your thinking, hallelujah, <laughs> until we're thinking like Jesus. Amen. And you really, you need the Holy Spirit for that. Right. Holy Spirit, help us to think like Jesus. Amen. By reading the Word and staying in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So let's go up the tower. Amen. Thank you. 
you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for lifting our thinking, yes, lifting Lord. our mindset to the yes, mindset Lord. of Christ. We have the mind of Christ, Amen. says the Scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. But that doesn't mean you don't need to access it. No. It's like saying, well, I have the, the file on my computer. <laughs> well, that's great. Have you opened it? <laughs> well, you got to go and access it. Yeah. Double click. Yeah. Amen. For all Amen. the newer people out there, you, you tap on it. Yeah. It's like a touch, touch screen. You actually have to do something with it. Yeah. Amen. It's, it's one thing to have it. It's another thing to access it. Yeah. Praise God. So, Lord, help us yeah. to focus on the new Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. As soon as I get there. Praise God. We'll get there. There we go. New Jerusalem. This is a Michael Card song. And uh, it, he draws a lot of his lyrics right out of Revelation 20, 21, I think. Yeah. And uh, a great song about the city being his bride. We need to think about the heavenly city. Yes. The heavenly city is a present reality yes. as well as a future reality. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're seeking for that city tonight. Amen. 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 If you look in the description, that's actually our title tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So I thank you, Lord. Amen. That John saw this revelation. Yes. And now we get, this is what we're looking forward to. Hallelujah. Amen. A God of compassion who wipes all tears from our eyes. Amen. A God of compassion who uh, will put an end to all pain one day. Amen. Isn't that amazing? Amen. Praise God. But we can start to feel that today. Amen. Amen.
pride on the Lamb. fulfillment we should preach the kingdom amen church on the go as you go yes amen. preach the kingdom is at hand amen. right on repent do a u-turn go away from sin return amen. do a u-turn from sin right on right and uh, yeah. do a do a u-turn away from sin turn toward the lord jesus christ yes, amen. and preach that the kingdom of god is at hand amen. what does that mean it's you can touch it Amen. In this COVID-19 world, you can still touch the kingdom. <laughs> it's at hand, folks. Praise God. Amen. You know what? But we still preach what the Word of God says. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. It's accessible. Yeah. It's accessible. Amen. And the great thing is, your history is now under the blood. Yes. And so amen. it doesn't matter what your past life was, yes. the kingdom of God is available to you now. Amen. And you can start afresh. Isn't that amazing? Amen. Let's worship him together. This is a song I wrote back in 2011. Preach the kingdom. Based Amen. on it's basically on Matthew 10:7 and Matthew 12:28. There's lots of other verses that go with this. <clears throat>
on the throne. Yes. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Yes. Thank you. And you are worshipped by the living creatures. You are worshipped by the 24 elders. You yes, are worshipped Lord. by the redeemed host of Israel. Hallelujah. Oh, and you're redeemed by the host of redeemed Hallelujah. Gentiles. They all worship you, Lord, and we worship you too. Yes, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessings, one and all. <laughs> well, welcome here on Thursday, May the 21st, and uh, we're blessing you in the mighty name of Jesus, Bless King you. of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. So, here again, tonight we have our uh, little uh, information page that uh, you can also see it there on your uh, Google Drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, going up. Are you going up to the heavenly city? Amen. Tonight we're talking about seeking the heavenly city. And we're going to find out, if you didn't know already, that Abraham went out in search of a city whose builder and maker was God. Amen. So if Abraham was searching for it, you should be too. Amen. Amen. That's right. Praise God. So going up, are you registered? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Amen. Praise God. Church on the Go, 465 Davis Drive, and uh, New Market, Ontario, in the Tannery Mall. Telephone number there. Also, thanking you for your support. And uh, basically, there's three types of support. Moral support in uh, forwarding and uh, commenting on the videos, right? Yep, absolutely. And uh, prayerful support, praying for the ongoing work of the ministry here yes. to continue to go on. We thank God. Some churches that have their own uh, personal uh, uh, parking lots are going to be starting up this Sunday with uh, parking lot meetings. Drive-ins. But, uh, yeah. but uh, drive-ins, but they still can't get out of their cars. That's true. <laughs> Even the cars have to be socially distanced, yeah, so yeah. to speak. So, so the question is, would you rather be sitting in your car or sitting at home in the recliner watching us. I mean, yeah. <laughs> take your pick. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But anyway, uh, we're still able to meet with those who are able to do so, and we bless those that are going to be having their parking lot meetings. We don't have our own personal parking lot, and uh, so we think there could be some challenges if we tried to do it here in the Tannery parking lot. So yep. we just uh, continue on like this until such time as we can. Um, begin meeting again and uh, we look forward to that time and because we have four meetings a week generally we we never have the same people in our services no always yeah, it's, it's always a variety <laughs> right and then of course there's the other type of support which is financial support. yes yes uh, we thank you for your offering support as it says there on the uh, on the poster and so some have sent it in by mail or some have put it under the door or dropped it by and we thank each one for all of their support that allows us to continue on yeah see the hashtag 220 is the keypad uh, number at the door praise god south door that allows us to buzz you in just like an apartment building amen so we'll go to the uh graphic for tonight our title page and uh god willing we'll be with you again on sunday now this will be a continued session on Sunday of this topic, but Mr. Curtis is going to lead that, and I'll be throwing in my two cents on it. <laughs> we still have the same format. Yes, and uh, Curtis uh, taught a series on Beulah Land, yes. and uh, we have some videos up on that uh, series, uh, some of it, but he also taught it here in the church. That's right. And uh, so he's going to share some of that, which has connections to this whole concept of how we need to seek for the city. That's right. So a lot of people have some confusion and we'll try to bring some clarity to it. You know, the city exists now for all the believers that are over there. My mother's there, his father's there. That's right. 
My niece is there. I was uh, wishing her a happy birthday. I said, have a heavenly happy birthday there, Sarah Diane. Oh, yeah. And uh, so that was her birthday today. And um, so we love all those that love Jesus and are there in the heavenly city. By the way, they're doing great. Amen. Because and they don't they don't have any aches and pains anymore. No, and they wouldn't come back if you asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'd say, are you crazy? <laughs> we love it here. <laughs> we had uh, Brother Joe call in here uh, a few weeks ago and share about uh, his uh, dream with Pastor Mark. I'm not sure if he'll call in again tonight, but uh, the point is that uh, the city is real. Yes. And that is those that have gone on, and we, when we arrive, we together will make up the bride of Christ. Mm -hmm. And the city is referred to throughout the scriptures as the bride. Yes. But the body of Christ that's here on the earth are walking around with our feet on the ground, and we are having our feet blessed. Blessed are the feet of them who preach good news. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So we are the body of Christ, the members of the body of Christ. So the body of Christ is, in essence, uh, referred to uh, throughout Scripture as the sons of God. It's referred to as the children of God, uh, the members of the body, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into sharing more about this as we go along. But we're going to start tonight with the Scripture from Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews 13 and verse 14 which tells us that we need to seek for a city. So if you've not thought about seeking for the city, then uh, I encourage you to put your antennas up tonight and begin to think and pray into this a little bit. Okay? Amen. So, folks, open your Bibles. Yes. You have a Bible? Open it up. Amen. Hebrews 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Here it goes. For here we have no continuing city. But we seek the one to come. Amen. So the scripture says that you're to seek the one to come. Now, it's a, there's a paradox here because it's coming for us, but it already exists. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's not that it hasn't been built yet, folks. It's already there. The bride's already there. Yes, amen. So we'll be getting more into that as we go along here. Let's go back a, a chapter previous to this. Uh, this is the now the 12th chapter of... Hebrews, yeah. and we're going to verses 22, 23, and 24 there, Curtis. Yes, 22, 23, and 24 yes. of chapter 12. Yes, amen. Are you ready to read this with amen. me? Let's do it. But you have come. Who's that? Us. Right. The reader of this book. Right. Who is the you? Yes. Whoever believes. Yes. Okay, okay, so we're just establishing this. Amen. You have come to Mount Zion. Amen. But Pastor Curtis, my feet are on the earth. Yeah. But somehow, we have also come to yes. this. So let's well, get... we're, we're locked into our destination. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, it's kind of like the autopilot on an aircraft that's yeah. flying to a destination. Yeah, yeah, we're on the journey. Yeah. And the journey is just as much the truth as the destination. Well, that's it. I mean, we were Curtis and I were talking about this earlier. I mean, the truth is, as he says, not only a, a destination, but it's a journey as well. Because yeah. Jesus is the way. And the truth. And the truth. And, and the, the life. life yeah. Right? And, uh, and then another uh, aspect is there is truth is the process and the product. Yes. So we need to love the process of developing the product as much as we love the product. Yeah. And we hear a lot of people talking about the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ is the final product. Yeah. But right now we are the children of God or the sons of God and we need to enjoy the journey. Yeah, exactly. Amen. We're I mean, walking in the truth. We live in the greater Toronto area, the GTA, yes. and I honestly ask myself, what's the hurry? Yeah. Why, why is everybody in such a hurry all the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we uh, as a culture, are in too big of a right, hurry. Right, right. And really, I mean, Jesus walked everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. even physically, yeah. he wasn't in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. So we need to, to enjoy the process. Yeah, the process produces the product. Yeah. And that's what we have to understand, <laughs> is that walking in the body of Christ, we are going to the city. Amen. 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 So carry so on let's, let's carry on. I got, yeah. We got carried away yeah. there, yeah. but that's no. okay. Verse 22 again. So Hebrews 12 and 22 says, 
but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. I think I got a phone call coming. Yes, it sounds like Brother Joe may be calling in again there. So I'll carry on there. To the city of the living God, the God. heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company Hello, of angels, Joe. to the general assembly and God church of the firstborn, who the are air. registered in heaven. That's what we asked Here you earlier. Are you registered? To God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. To Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. So we'll come back to talking about the heavenly city, or the heavenly Jerusalem, in a few moments. But we have a brother here on the phone that's called in tonight with something great to share. Brother Joe, how are you tonight? Yes, hi, Pastor Steve, Pastor Curtis. Hello. Amen. Bless you, brother. Bless Amen. you. <laughs> so, what's uh, God saying to you? Uh, sorry, I kind of missed that. What What is God saying to you, brother? So, I was thinking about uh, how God shows himself. Yes. The revelation of God. Amen. How he reveals himself. And uh, yeah. I was just thinking about that the revelation. <laughs> yes. And, Amen. Uh, so, I, I jotted down a few a few things. Right. <laughs> and I'll read these few little things that I, I wrote down, you know, because they, they kind of touch my heart, you know. I'm, Amen. I hope Amen. it will also touch your heart and, and encourage encourage you guys, you know, encourage Amen. everyone, right? And so, uh, uh, the Old Testament, of course, God reveals himself to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right on. I was thinking in particular how how he reveals himself to Moses, how he calls Moses, and the burning bush, and God begins to speak to him, and he, he begins to draw Moses in, right? Amen. And, uh, and as well, so, uh, he calls Moses up to come to the top of the mountain, Mount Sinai, right. and there he instructs and gives him, gives him instructions and the commandments, and right to bring to the people how, how we should live, you know, yeah on the earth, you know, as he created us, the best way, by, by you know, obedient, by living according to his every word, Amen. His every command, his every promise to us, and how he reveals himself, then he speaks through the prophets, Yes. And how the prophets begin to yes, you know, unravel the mysteries of God, as God speaks to them, and through them to us, and, and yes. of course, and through visions and dreams and these are all from the Bible but not only throughout the Bible they are real to us as well because we also have these visions and dreams and the words of the Lord uh, amen. giving to us too by by the spirit of the living God right amen on. and how God then decides to come down to us and 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 reveal himself in, in, in Jesus he becomes yes, amen. Jesus. that's right and yet Amen. And he's telling 
And you're a God that is removed when we really mean it. We really mean it from our heart. Thank you, Lord. We love you and we love others, Father. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we know that we can move your heart and we know that we can move your, your hands, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that uh, this coronavirus, there will be a, a, a solution to it. And there will be yeah, a... Put an end to it, Lord. Whatever, you know, whatever name. way that you want, Father. Jesus. And to, that all will know and understand that you truly are our Savior. Jesus. Amen. All, there's no greater name. There's no one, uh, no greater name that we can be saved by. Yep. We call him the name of Jesus. We know yeah. from Holy Scripture that in the book of Acts, it was, Lord. you know, rise up and walk. <laughs> yeah. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we pray in your name because we believe in you. We believe in your name. And Jesus. what God can do yes, Father. for us now as well as he did before. Amen. We know, Father. And so we pray. We pray for each other. We pray for the nations. We pray for the world. We mm -hmm. pray for the leaders, Lord, to touch the hearts, touch the minds, give the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we proclaim the, right, demands, the word of God. Yes, Lord. Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank need you, you, Jesus. We need you now more than ever before. Yes, Lord. And we Amen. thank you. We, we are grateful and thankful for everything. Bless your heart, yes, Lord. For our lives, for our families, yes, for Lord. everything that, that you do for us. Every day, we're grateful. Yes, and the God Lord. who gives us the bread every day, Father. Every thank day, Jesus. give us the bread, Father. And so we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt Glory you. Glory to your name, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Joe, for sharing Amen. that and calling in. We bless you Amen. on this weekend. God bless you. you and all, all of you and everybody. yours uh, have a great weekend and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we appreciate you, brother. Amen. Thank you. I Thanks for calling in okay. and sharing that. Bye. Amen. Bye. God, God bless. bless. Bye. Amen. Praise God. So just to pick up on where we were previously, we were in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22, how we have now come. We're not only to seek for a city, but we've now come to a city. Right. And we've come to the city, we are in Christ Jesus, and we are headed to the city. And if you're in Christ Jesus, then your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and uh, you're registered in heaven. Yep. As it says here, uh, to those who are registered, uh, let me just see. Um, yeah, verse 23. Verse 23, yes. Who are registered in heaven. So, again, is your name written down? Are you registered? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people think they're going to heaven, but you have to ask them, are you registered? Yeah. Or are you registered? Are you registered? Yeah. you got to mean... sign up with Jesus. <laughs> Jesus right. is the door to heaven. Yeah, if I just showed up, uh, well, of course, right now there's not too many aircraft flying, but if I just showed up at the airport sometime and said, I'm on that flight, and I said, well, are you... Tickets, you please. Got a ticket? Yeah, Tickets, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Where's your ticket? <laughs> are you registered? We're going to go to the next uh, graphic there that shows um, some of the uh, scripture verses. Uh, let's, let's go to this one here that shows Jesus is the door. And uh, the scripture tells us in John chapter 10, verses 7 to 9, that Jesus is the door. Yes, amen. And in this graphic, you can see that ultimately when we arrive in heaven, uh, we are going to find uh, the marriage supper of the Lamb. And we're going to uh, arrive there at the city. And you see here in Revelation 21, 2, uh, Curtis, I'll let you read these scriptures if sure. you wish. The Revelation 21 and 2 and 21 and 9. Yes, so yes. here we have a description of the bride. So then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. This is Revelation 21 and 2. I uh, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Mm -hmm. Then Revelation 21 verse 9 says... Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. And then it goes on in verse 10 and talks about the holy city coming down from 
God from heaven. Yeah, and verse 11 refers to her as a her. Yes, so, I mean, the city is is where we're headed. Now, the interesting thing is that in our um, walk with God, uh, when we come into salvation, we find something very interesting when uh, uh, Paul is talking with... Um, Let's just turn over to Galatians chapter 4, and we will read to verse 23 to 26. It's here in large print, verse 26. But uh, the whole context there, Curtis, is in Galatians 4, 23 to 26. So if you want to look at yes. it in your... Galatians 4. Yes. Verses 23 to 26. Mm-hmm. I wish people more, more people would read this verse, actually. Yeah, yeah. So 23 to 26 says, so Galatians 4, 23 to 26, read along with us in your Bibles. Yeah. But he who was of the bondwoman was born according to the flesh, and he of the free woman through promise. Right. This is referring to Isaac and Ishmael. That's right. Yeah. It's Ishmael and Isaac. Right. It's referring to history, and it's also referring to the promise. Right. Which, by the way, there's going to be more about the promise on Sunday. Just yes. a little taste yeah. of that. Which things are symbolic? For these are the two covenants. Right. The one from Mount Sinai, which gives birth to bondage, which is Hagar. For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and corresponds to Jerusalem, which now is. And is in bondage with her children. That's the earthly Jerusalem. Yeah. Verse 26. But the Jerusalem above is free, which is the mother of us all. Right, so the, the descendants of Ishmael, by and large, follow a certain religion, yes. okay, in Arabia, coming out of Arabia. Yep. And they, according to Paul's writing, are linked to the natural Jerusalem, okay? They're all in bondage, the whole crowd. Yeah. But Jerusalem above is free, and she is as it says, the, the mother, mother of, of us, us all. all. Yeah. So your spiritual mother, okay, is the heavenly Jerusalem. That's right. According okay. to Scripture. Now, um, we're going to uh, look at some other passages here that we have here on this uh, graphic. But we want to just, I uh, just want to point out one other point here. Um, that uh, Adam and Eve, Eve was the mother of all living in the natural, right? Yeah, that's right. The Jerusalem above is the mother of all in the spiritual. Yeah, who are believers. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So we need to understand there's a correlation between the natural and the spiritual. Which is, there's a reference to that, 1 Corinthians 15. Yeah, we, we will go over to that. Uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians uh, 15. We'll read about the, the last Adam, the heavenly man. And uh, we want to follow the heavenly man, Amen. the last Adam. This is from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 45 to 58. Amen. So here you go. Open it up in your Bibles. Read along with us. Yeah. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 45 to 58. Yeah. All right. And uh, so we got two Adams now. Yeah. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. Amen. So which Adam do you follow? Yeah. I want to follow the last Adam. Amen. Not Amen. the first Adam. Amen. We already know where that leads. Amen. So here's the last Adam here. There he is. He's the door. Yeah. Here's the first Adam over here with his loin... Well, actually, his uh, grass skirt, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a grass skirt of made out of banana. Or figs. <laughs> yeah. Fig leaves. Could be, could be banana leaves, too. I don't know. <laughs> Not really sure. Okay. But point being is that we're now following the last Adam. Yeah, no, that's right. And so here, verse 46. Yeah. However, the spiritual is not first, but yeah. the natural. Amen. And then afterward, the spiritual. Right. The first man was made of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Amen. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. Amen. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we all shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Amen. Now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So it's not enough to be from no. the first Adam. No. 
nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Right. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Amen. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Mm -hmm. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Right. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory Amen. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Right v is for victory. Amen. Right? And uh, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, right on. always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. I think that therefore at the end is so important. Amen. You gotta remember that what you're doing right now for the Lord is not Amen. Uh, ineffective. Right. It's for a purpose. So the glorified body is at the last trumpet. Yeah. Okay? At the last trumpet in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. Okay, so you'll get the glorified body then and not before the last trumpet. Right. Okay? In the meantime, the spirit and the soul go back to God. Yep. Spirit goes back to God, uh, who gave it, right? Amen. And uh, so those who have gone on ahead, uh, they're looking forward to the day when their spirit, soul, and body comes back together in the same similar way as it is in the natural, except it will be a glorified body. And we have a prototype of the glorified body. Jesus had it. Yeah, he did. He could go pass through a wall. He could just show up whenever yeah. he wanted. Yeah, yeah. And then disappear again. Yeah. But exactly. he was a physical being. Yeah. Was yeah well, obviously. Uh, yeah. Some uh, people, there are some heretics. There yeah. are some uh, <laughs> theories that try yeah. to explain away the resurrection by yeah. saying, well, he just showed up as a ghost. Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, no. No, no. You could touch him. Yeah. He yeah. ate fish in front yeah. of them. Yeah. He ate fish. He ate honeycomb. Yeah, he was, he was and, uh, a physical uh, being. Thomas, he said to Thomas, put your finger in my hand and in my side. Yep. But uh, blessed are those who haven't seen me and believe. But they still believe. <laughs> Amen. So he gave him the physical proof that he wanted. Amen. But blessed are you who believe who don't, haven't actually seen okay. me. Okay. Yes. Amen. So um, let's just, uh, we kind of got off track there a little bit. Let's go well, to so Hebrews, 11, Hebrews 11. Hebrews yep. 11. Uh, we, uh, we mentioned in Hebrews 13 that we are to seek for a city. We don't have a continuing city here, but we're to seek the ones to come, even though it still exists now. We have already come, it says in Hebrews 12 and 22, to the heavenly Jerusalem through Jesus, right? Yeah, amen. And then in chapter 11, verse 10, it tells us that Abraham went out searching after a city. That's right. So Hebrews 11 and 10 says, and this is Hebrews 11, chapter 10, 11, verse 10, which says, For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Yes, he was waiting for that city which has foundations. And uh, the foundations, by the way, if you read in Revelation 21, are the uh, apostles of the Lamb. The Twelve apostles of the Lamb. Yes, yeah. amen. And uh, let's go down to verse 16. Yeah, and verse 16 says, But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. So he's prepared a city for us. Interestingly enough, the Canadian coat of arms has this statement, they desire a better country, except they got the context wrong. It wasn't Canada. No. It was a heavenly no, but we still use that to our advantage. Amen, yes. You know, we still use the fact that there's a Bible verse in, yeah. there's actually two Bible verses in the Canadian coat of arms. Yeah. We use that to t teach Canadians. Yeah. We yeah. have a Christian heritage. Amen. Let's go to the third graphic there. And uh, now, if you're into Bible study and you want to take the third graphic and do a lot of Bible study, you can look into the passages. I don't write all the... Verses out There's a here. ton of references on here. But use, use the Google link yes. in the description for this. So as we were sharing with you, the heavenly city is the bride. Those who are on earth at the present time are alive, right? And yeah. we are in Christ Jesus. We are the body, body of Christ on the earth. He's the head is in heaven, yeah. seated at the right hand of the Father, and That's the right. feet 
Blessed are the feet of those who preach good that news. Preach good news. And then there's also part of the body which is in heaven. Well, the part of the body that's in heaven has now become part of the bride, right? right? Because the bride is in the city. Okay? That's right. And uh, and now there's a lot we could go on and talk about. That's not on this uh, graphic that we could talk about the the throne room. I you know Curtis has got a graphic that he will share with you on Sunday that about oh, the yes. throne room. Yep. And the four living creatures, the four living creatures are referred to back in the camp of Israel. They're referred to in the book of Ezekiel. They're referred to in the book of Revelation. And that's another whole story. But um, biblically, metaphorically, uh, the city is referred to as herself, the bride, the wife, the mother, the heavenly city. Amen. And you can look at a lot of these scriptures here. And uh, of course, when uh, we are all coming to the marriage supper of the Lamb. This is when the body of Christ and the bride are in unity with the whole body of Christ. Now, right at the present time, Jesus is seated at the, as the head of the body. He's seated at the Father's right hand Amen. Yep. in the throne room. That's right. But the whole body of Christ isn't in heaven. No, not only not all of it. No. many of us are still here. Yeah, on yeah. Earth. Not all of the church is in heaven. Not right. all of it's on earth. Right. <laughs> it's right. in both places, right? right? right. right. Okay. <laughs> So, there you go. So, as the body of Christ here on earth, in Christ Jesus, there's neither male nor female. And the scriptures talk about us being sons of God. It talks about us being His seed. It talks about us being the children of God. It talks about us being the members of the body of Christ or churches. Yep. Uh, I think 35 times, approximately, the word churches, plural, is used. Yep. Um, the feet of them that preach good news, I referred to that. So a lot of these scriptures, these are all reference to churches. These are references to other passages, the sons of God, his seed, children, and so on. So just to, to give you an idea, because a lot of folks, if they haven't taken the time to break it down, they don't really have an understanding that the body of Christ that's on the earth is the feet of them that preach good news, those different members of the body, and so on. Mm -hmm. The ones who are in glory... Amen. Are already in time of uh, of uh, getting ready for the marriage supper of the Lamb. When we get there, and uh, the the body and the, all of the the members of the city come together as the as the uh, at the marriage supper of the Lamb between the bridegroom and the bride. Yeah, right? absolutely. And, the ultimate uh, consummation. So I don't know if you wanted to add anything else into. I that. think that was a pretty good uh, overview of all yeah. of this. I mean, you'd really want to. Get, dig into this. There's lots of stuff to look yeah. at. Your homework is to download this graphic off the link yeah. and dig it out because this really requires a lot of study. This is not something you can just grab, take out, and just run with it. You gotta sit down and study this out. Because our time is coming to a conclusion here, Curtis, I'm gonna just go to one verse here uh, to, to get you to read. Maybe two passages. Two passages before, before we conclude. Uh, first of all, Galatians 3 and 26 tells us that in Christ Jesus, yes. we are all something. Yeah, okay, so Galatians 3 and 26. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. So while we're here on the earth, through faith in Christ Jesus, we are all sons of God. Amen. Okay, we're part of the body of Christ. Amen. He is the man Christ Jesus and That's we it. are part of his body. Amen. That's it. Praise God. Amen. But when we pass on to the other side, we become part of the city. Amen. And the city is the bride. Amen. Amen. And uh, when we come together, all of us, and we have that great reunion and yeah. that marriage supper of the Lamb. It, it'll be the greatest husband and wife union ever for Amen. all of eternity. Amen. 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 So, uh, one more passage. We showed a picture earlier there of Jesus uh, being the door. We're going to go to John chapter 10, verses 7 to 9. Yes. Because this is the key that people need to understand. There is only one way to God, and Jesus is the door. Amen. So, John chapter 10, verses 7 to 9. And uh, it's right here, if you want to read along with us. John yes, 10, amen. 7 to 9 says, Then Jesus said to them, again, most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, 
he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Amen. So we encourage you tonight to come by the way of the door. There's only one way, and Jesus is the door. Amen. And uh, he's the doorway into eternal life. He is the way into the body of Christ. Yes. He's the way into the family of God. Amen. And uh, whichever terminology that you're comfortable with there, but there are all these different aspects that are being used, mm -hmm. whether it's a member of the body or a child of God or the son of God, but they're all uh, relating to the body of Christ. He is the man, Christ Jesus, here on the earth. As long as we're here on the earth, we're part of his body. That's right. Amen. And uh, when we arrive in the city, we become part of the heavenly city, the holy city, mm -hmm. the bride of it's, it, it, Christ. It's like Paul said, it's a mystery, but it's Amen. also a wonderful revelation. Amen. Great Amen. union between husband Amen. and wife. Amen. So, Father, tonight we seek the city. We seek after the city. Abraham went out in search of a city whose builder and maker was God. We have come to the city, the heavenly Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Lord, to an innumerable company of angels. Lord, to Jesus, the mediator of all. Lord, to the judge of uh, per men made perfect, the scripture says. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that uh, we have come by faith through Jesus Christ, whose head, the head of the body, Christ, is seated right now at the right hand of the majesty in the heavenly city. Yes, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father. We might be just the feet. <laughs> I might be just the small toe, but mm. uh, I'm still part of the body. Amen. It's right. And it's connected to the heavenly city, to the throne room of God. And Lord, we thank you tonight that we look forward to the day that we will arrive in the city, Lord, in completion, Father, and that we will have that resurrected body. Amen. Yes, Father. And we will be part of the heavenly city and of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. That comes together, Lord, and uh, the, the bride and, uh, and uh, the bridegroom come together, Lord, and we uh, look forward to that day. Lord, uh, the wonderful fellowship and uh, communion that we will have together with all those that are loved ones that have gone on before. Lord, we send a word of, of blessing and love even to them tonight, but, but they're on the other side. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, that you alone are able to save. And Jesus yes, alone is the door. Yes, Jesus. And, Lord, it's only through you that we are saved. Yes, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Lord, tonight we encourage everyone to call upon the name of Jesus. Only Jesus can save, and only Jesus is the door to eternal life. And we give you the praise and the glory and the thanks in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, well, I thank you, Lord, that, yes, Lord. that, Lord, you are revealing your revelation to us. Well, line yes, upon Lord. line, precept upon precept. We're still growing in it, Father. Yes, We're still Lord. learning as we go, Father. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for the puzzle pieces that you have granted to us to understand through the Word, uh, Lord, and that, Lord, that you would continue to unfold your, pl your plan, your journey. It's a walk. We're walking mm -hmm. with God every day. Yes, We're Lord. walking with Jesus. We're, Lord, you're not in any hurry. No. Lord, you're not rushing you know, here and there and everywhere like we do in the GTA. No. <laughs> Lord, no, no. no. Lord, you're a, you, you walk with your people. Amen. Lord, and we walk with you. Amen. And part of that is understanding that, Lord, uh, that, Lord, that it, it, sometimes it's the, it's the destination and it's the path at the same yes. time. Amen. It's both. Amen. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, for these revelations about the husband. Yes. Jesus Christ and his body, yes, Lord. and about the bride, which is the city, Amen. the new Jerusalem above. Amen. And we thank you for this mystery yes, Lord. and this revelation, this beautiful mystery and revelation mm -hmm. of how this, the husband and the wife become one flesh, yes, which Lord. ultimately fulfills uh, Genesis chapter 2. Yes, and verse Lord. 24, the, the husband and wife become one flesh. Yes, they become Lord. one in yes, the spirit. Lord. Because, Lord, that's the destination, but, Lord, we're on the journey. Amen. We're like the feet of him who Amen. preaches good news. We're walking the path on earth. Amen. And registered in heaven. We're registered in heaven. Yes, We've Lord. already come to the city because that's our destination. Amen. But yet we're still walking this path on the Amen. earth. Amen. So, Father, we bless you. We worship you. Lord, help people to digest this yes, one, uh, one 
one piece of truth at a time. Yes, Lord, Lord, and let them dig into these scriptures. We've given them lots to look at. So, Lord, uh, let them be blessed. Let them be, be encouraged. Let them be healed. And Amen. let them be filled with the Spirit. In Jesus' name, we bless you and we worship you. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. We thank you for watching tonight. Be blessed. Continue to seek after the city. Amen. Yes. In the name of Jesus. We look forward to being with you, God willing, on Sunday, 11 a.m. Mr. Curtis is going to be sharing about Beulah Land. Amen. amen. Yes, I will. Amen. <laughs> be there. <laughs> amen. So, God willing, uh, we encourage you as well to share the video, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again. God bless. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Take care.